<laughs> Nothing better than a bay leaf. Ah! Dear friends, welcome to JCB Live. Bienvenue with this amazing wine style. Happy as a clam. Why is that, Danielle? Happy as a clam. We're happy because it's 2021 and we're off to a great start for a great new year. And, and we're making clam chowder. Ah! <laughs> One of our favorite dishes. So why do we have bay leaf? Because I need to use bay leaves in the soup. Oh. So I didn't want to just take one bay leaf off the branch, so I cut half the tree down. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to eventually replant it. <laughs> so for that, we decided to bring you one of the best wine in the world. Feel the bottle, Danielle. You will never sense a bottle of wine ever again the same way. Embossed. Embossed with a very famous 1755 50 family crest of the Bouchard family, embossed on both sides. And this is Danelle for you. Thank you. To go with the beautiful clam chowder, a wine which is meant to be crispy, zesty, Oof. fresh, Cheers. lemony, green apples, ginger. Oh, the history of France is summarized in this wine. It's gonna go perfect with the soup. It's amazing. So, can you believe that the Bouchard family is at the foundation of what Beaune and the famous city of Beaune is all about? So, on this beautiful label, you could see not only the family crest, but as well the winery. And this is where Bouchard welcome the guests and of course as well, the grapes. This is amazing cellar in the Castrum of the town of Bone in the heart of Burgundy. So dear friends, this is exciting because this wine comes from the south of France. It's actually the Pays region or the Vin de France at large that is really represented as a Chardonnay and a Pinot. So this is very cool because this is really your national identity. The first wine you're gonna have with this beautiful clam chowder. So, Danielle. Let's get started. Shall we add a little Chardonnay in there? Okay. Just a little bit. So, I started a little bit earlier uh, with the bacon. I'm browning bacon. Mm. So. Why? Because it's not brown again enough? <laughs> you just need to brown it a little more. I did five strips of thick cut bacon and I cut it into small pieces. And we're going to use the bacon grease to make the roux for our clam chowder. Ooh. Did you know that clam chowder uses roux? Oh, well, now I do. <laughs> I'm learning so much. Since Danelle came back on vacation, she's a new lady. She cooks every day, morning, lunch, and dinner. This is amazing. We're becoming a full-time restaurant. We are. So we're gonna use uh, one diced up, onion? small to medium sized yellow onion, mm. which I've already diced, nice. We're gonna put that, dump that in the bacon grease. Mm -hmm. And I've got three to four celery stalks, nice and diced up. And then we're gonna you so cook that. Organization is the art of the kitchen. It's the key. All right? As the man who organized the kitchen would say, this is a military operation. And as you could see, this is the case. So soup is a little bit of a lengthy process, mm -hmm. actually. So you're going to cook this for about maybe 15 minutes until it turns a little transparent. The onions will get really clear and see through. The celery will get soft and tender. Mm -hmm. You're just going to saute that in there. So it takes 15 minutes to get soft and tender, Danielle? Yes. Oh, that's a lot of courting, as we so say. So we'll, we'll, turn, we'll turn the fire up. Excel. Turn it a little high. And you want to sip on your wine in the meantime, because what I love, dear friends, this is a very easy wine to drink, easy wine to enjoy. And this is part of the heritage of French Chardonnay. This is where it all started. I think I have been there, actually. Did you like it? I loved it. Fell in love with the France. The French, I'm waiting French. for you again. So then now we do that for a while, and then when this do is that. done, okay. show so, us the next step. I'm gonna show you the next step. The next step 
And maybe Dylan can bring the camera a little closer for oh, this. Oh, Dylan would so love to get is, closer to you. We know that. This Look is at that. The He's magic. ready. He's ready. He's pushing it away. The magic importance <laughs> spot of making the roof. So we'll turn it, turn it down a little bit. And you're going to add a third cup of all-purpose flour. And you're going to coat all of your vegetables in the bacon. And stir it all in. Just until your flour starts to brown a little bit. Okay. Now, the secret is the clam juice. Not dumping it in really fast. You're going to pour it in a couple of tablespoons at a time. And you'll see how the roux that I made is going to just start absorbing it. And make it like a paste. So I used about four and a half cups of clam juice. You can also use vegetable stock and you can also use chicken stock, but clam juice makes, in my opinion, the best clam chowder. Slowly pour that all in. This is nice and thick. And once, once it stops absorbing the liquid, you can pour the rest of it in. She invited me back. I cannot wait to see the next edition. We're gonna add about two cloves of garlic. And the reason why I didn't add it sauteing the vegetables is because garlic burns really fast. Mm -hmm. So we don't wanna have the flavor of burnt garlic in our clam But garlic. we want garlic. This is the recipe for a good French kiss. We have a quarter teaspoon of thyme, mm -hmm. which I actually went out to the garden, picked fresh. Fabulous, yeah. And I'm keeping drinking this wine that is so suave. Mm. And I diced up, I used red potatoes. Red potatoes have a great flavor for me. And I diced them up pretty small, about a half inch, so that they cook a lot faster. So we're going to put the potatoes in. And then we're going to cook for how long? Voila. Voila. 20 minutes. So you're going to... So turn, artistic gonna, in your movement, Danelle. You've been practicing a lot. You're gonna turn it, turn your fire up to high, and you're gonna bring it to a boil, a nice, not just a slow rolling boil, but a nice boil. Once it boils, you're gonna turn it down and you're gonna simmer it so it's still boiling, but it's only on simmer until your potatoes are cooked about 20 minutes. And what do you do? During those 20 minutes. Drink more wine. You drink more wine, dear friends. And what do I do? I open the brother why to the Chardonnay. Why is it the brother? Well, because we have the Chardonnay and the Pinot Noir. Okay. Same family. Pinot, Pinot Chardonnay, Pinot Blanc, Pinot Gris, Pinot Noir, Pinot Burro. So the Pinot family, those two come from the same tree originally as a DNA. One is noir, meaning black. One is white, obviously, meaning blue. And this is a screw cap. So as you've seen, very innovative approach, traditional winery, very historical, 1750. Doesn't hardly get any older than that, but we still wanted to have a screw cap, which has, as you could see, a layer inside a bar that keeps the wine very alert and still, does not allow the oxygen to come in and is very healthy for the wine. So we big believers, even in France, even in Burgundy, into screw caps. So very convenient. You could screw it back. And this is a $15 bottle of wine, which is great. Put it back in the fridge. The wine is still great the next day. So Donnell, two fabulous clam chowder. Now Pinot Noir. Delicious. So what does it make you think, this wine? Well, it reminds me of France. You know, yeah. I fell in love with French wines when I went to France. Mm. 
And they're just, they're perfect. French wine or French men? Mm. French wine. <laughs> okay. French wine. Just to be more specific. But which is great is beautiful acidity, uh, great balance, lovely aromatic expression without being too overwhelming. Right, that's what we've talked about. With, for myself with French wine, it's, it's really nice and fruitful on the palate but it's not overbearing for me it's not it's not it doesn't you know hit me really strong and that's an important factor with french wine specifically this pinot you have a 12 percent alcohol level so it's very managed in many ways today a lot of the wines could be 13 and a half 14 14 and a half all the way up to 16 which becomes very high right. this is now being considered as delicate nearly low alcohol wine and I love the fact that those wines are made in a very natural way, from the grapes to the open top for manner, a little bit of time in barrels, and here it is. Delicate, that's yeah. the perfect word. So I'm gonna put some fresh ground pepper in here. And some salt. Yes. God, all that natural measurement. I'm getting better. <laughs> I'm getting better. <laughs> okay, so. We're going to turn it down. Yes. We're gonna simmer it now. So you're going to go slow cooking. Yeah? Now we're going to simmer it. Yep. So 20 minutes like that? 20 minutes like that. Well, we can finish so the bottles of wine. We can. I love it. Shall we go and sit next to the fire and come back? <laughs> we're going to finish our soup, actually. Um, I always thought that clam chowder was a really heavy, heavy cream based soup. And I've discovered that it's not. So if you've noticed, we haven't put any cream in the soup so far just the all-purpose flour that made the really nice roux. And, and it's gonna come from the potatoes, of course, as well. Correct. The thickness, we think it's a bunch of creams and just butter. It's not. We're gonna add some maybe a we little are. bit. We're gonna add, so 20 minutes, your potatoes are nice and soft. You don't want them too soft. You want them a little firm, but not, not too firm. Nice and soft. And then We're those must be up, beautiful clams. They are, they're chopped clams. We're gonna finish up with one cup of heavy cream. Mm -hmm. That's it? Only one cup for that, that full that's amount? That's it, for all of that. That's the big surprise. For the four and a half to five mm -hmm. cups of the juice, of the clam juice, it's one cup of cream. Two cups of clams, chopped clams. Wow. And... What a dinner. Finish off with two tablespoons of freshly chopped Parsley. Yes. Ooh, it's hot. And that's it. Clam chowder is really, really, really simple to make. Voila, and then again. For how long? It's finished. That's it? You just stir it until the cream is warm, yes. you know, incorporated with the soup, and that's it. Well, dear friends. Have you noticed how amazing Danelle is behind the stove? Let and me add now. Oh, go ahead, sorry. No, no, please. I was gonna add, I don't like regular oyster crackers or saltine crackers in my clam chowder. Yes. So, I made... Some beautiful croutons. Some beautiful croutons. And it was really simple. I cut a piece of um, mm. sourdough baguette. Yes. Into small squares. I put a ton of butter into a frying pan. Mm -hmm. Tons of butter. And put the bread in, salt and pepper, a little bit of parsley and fried it up and this goes amazing in the soup. We love it. So let's go So this is kind of a French flair to it. I love that. Because I remember in France you had a lot of crouton de mer. You love that French <laughs> bread with garlic I and do. butter. I do. Yes. And dear friend, this is exciting. Never be afraid of thinking with clam chowder you only have a white. Pinot Noir is actually phenomenally delicate, sophisticated, has a little bit of spice and those beautiful fruit that complements as well the soup. So wherever you go from clam chowder to lentil soup to all the great, you know, soup of the season of the winter, be wild with white and red wine, specifically French wines, right? And clam chowder. Look at this beautiful achievement. Well, I want to get a toast for Danelle in Cheers. the kitchen. We'll soon get Rafa again, but Danelle really insisted. She wants to be the one. And now... It's hot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Donnell, you deserve a little hug. Let's do a hug. Uh -huh. A hug. Uh -huh. Hey! Congratulations Thank to Donnell in the kitchen! Cheers! <laughs>